Guys, I'm going to come on here and do my uh, ultimate fighter review video. Um, even before the uh, Efren Escudero and Philip Nover fight is over. Um, um, Escudero took the fight to the ground continually. Nover uh, doesn't have any wrestling whatsoever. Overcommitted on his punches. Uh, Efren took it down, couldn't do anything. I don't like those kind of fights. Uh, I know wrestlers are uh, really good at coming into MMA and dominating. Efren's not just a wrestler. In this fight, he was. Um, he knows submissions against uh, Nober, who just became a black belt. Not so much. Uh, you know, everybody's probably going to say, Whoa, it was a great fight, man. It was a great fight. Really exciting. Uh, I don't think so. I think it was really fucking boring. Um, I, I don't like style clashes like that. Um, uh, whatever. Escadero wins a decision. He's he would get he's gonna get destroyed by anybody in the 155 pound division. There's gonna be jujitsu guys that can submit him, and there's gonna be wrestlers that can out wrestle him, and strikers that can out strike him because his striking is terrible. Um, Right now, not really a fan of Efren Escudero. So, um, one thing that did impress me, though, um, not just this card, but I will say overall, um, it looks like MMA, um, I know Efren and Felipe are, uh, are technically Americans, but it looks like MMA is, you know, gaining popularity worldwide. Those are, there's a lot of good, uh, fighters coming out of different countries, so that's that looks promising. Um, go over the rest of the fights that we saw, and uh, Judy Browning looks spectacular. Um, you know, on the show, a lot of people gave him crap for you know being uh, you know crazy or whatever he was going. Um, Kaplan came in like with a lot of a lot of promise or whatever, and, or whatever he was talking, the crap he was talking about being trained under you know, Hickson, or whatever he was talking, um, Browning re looked really good, I know he's got a lot of power at 155, uh, his striking looked decent, his cardio was crap, his attitude was crap, but ever since training at, uh, Extreme Couture, especially, uh, under Sean Tompkins, um, his striking, is putting together combinations, he was roughing up Kaplan the entire fight, and his ground looked really good, too, um, at least his top position. Uh, Grand gained a uh, top control past the guard, armbar, second round, done. Uh, Jason McDonald, Wilson Govea. I, I like Wilson Govea um, at 185. I know he didn't make weight for this, and that's you know his fault. His trainers need to get on top of him and say, look, dude, you need to make this fucking weight um, because you can be a contender at 185. His, his striking is ridiculous, and I thought that would be... Um, the key to this fight, um, his striking was way better than McDonald's, um, you know, his ground is really good too, his black belt, um, his wrestling probably not that good, uh, McDonald's wrestling is, is probably a little bit better, but, uh, it didn't matter, um, you know, it went to the ground, um, and from top position, he just rained down hell on Jason McDonald. Um, cut him open with like, about the third or fourth elbow he threw. Um, McDonald was done at that point, really. I mean, just waiting for the ref to step in. Uh, ref didn't step in after about 15 seconds. He tapped two to strikes. Um, Gobea looks really good. Like I said, Gobea is a 185 contender for sure. Uh, Elliot Marshall, the next fight they showed, um, picked this one uh, <laughs> against Jules Bruchet. I guess is his last name. Um, dominated on the feed, took it to the ground, subbed him. Everybody saw that one coming. Um, really good fight against uh, Anthony Johnson, Kevin Burns, a rematch. Um, pretty much the same. Um, both guys came out, uh, put on a really good show. Uh, Johnson could get the takedown, um, you know, defended against the subs. Uh, both guys pretty good in the stand-up. It was pretty even. Um, I know I saw from the first round 
Johnson, you know, putting that, uh, you know, not his lead leg, but the uh, standing in a orthodox position, the his rear leg um, or left leg inside leg kick, and in the th- it came down to the third. Uh, Burns kept countering with the left hook. Um, Johnson threw a, a head kick instead of an inside leg kick. Burns didn't see it coming, still threw the left hook. <laughs> Done. Um, Anthony Johnson has KO power. Um, he's got some work to do, um, but uh, anybody he fights, it's going to be an exciting fight for sure. Um, Vinny Mevel Hayes, however you pronounce it. I know eight different people pronounced it eight different ways tonight on the show. So, against Ryan Darth Bader. Um, wow. I could, you know, I know Bader's um, strategy was to come into this fight and keep it on the feet, not take it down, because if he did take it down, Vinny was going to sub him for sure. Um, he, his guard is ridiculous. And Vinny is pretty young. He's only like 23 or 24. So he'll come back from this. Um, you know, Bader KOs him. Bader has huge power. We saw it. Um, Vinny's stand up did improve. Uh, stra- uh, training at Extreme Couture. He needs to keep training there. Sta- train his stand up just flat. Just train your stand up. Don't need to worry about your ground game. Maybe train a little bit of your wrestling, but uh, Vinny looked like he blocked it, and or at least deflected it a little bit, and still, you know, um, one of the hardest things to train is, um, or impossible to train, is, you know, your willingness to be in a fight. And getting hit seems like something that Vinny is not willing to take. You know, um, needs to take a lesson from Noguera, uh, fellow fellow uh, Brazilian, and uh, learn to get hit and still stay in the fight, maintain guard. I don't think he can do it. I just don't think he likes getting hit in the face. Um, I know uh, a guy I went to high school with was a, a state champ wrestler. Um, I mentioned names, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I've asked him several times, like, uh, why don't you go into MMA, man? you got a great background, being, you know, you're a state champion, like, a good college wrestling uh, background. And he paused, and I said, uh, let me guess, you don't want to get hit in the face. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get hit in the face. Some guys just don't want to get hit in the face, and I think Vinny is one of those guys. I think he likes the ladies too much to worry about getting hit in the face, to be honest with you. Anyways, I don't know if uh, Kristoff looked, you know, he's supposed to be a striker. If his striking looked bad, or Shane Prim looked really good, or if he was just trying to take it to the ground and prove that, oh, d- d- dude, you know, I, I on the ground, uh, it was terrible on the show, but now I have a ground game. Yeah, whatever. Um, Kristoff looked decent on the ground. Uh, subs him by Kimura. Psst. Kept going for it. That was the only sub he kept going for. Eventually he got it against Shane. Shane exhausted in the second round, so you need to work on your cardio a little bit. Um, anyways, uh, Kristoff, for as experienced as he is, doesn't really impress me that much. Uh, I guess we'll wait to see because he's going to get another fight. Efren against Felipe. I went over it. Um, you know, uh, not looking forward to seeing Efren in the 155 division. I think Felipe is uh, uh, he's more he's what well, more well rounded and um, you know Efren. I saw um, I saw a bunch of people pick Efren. You know, in this one, um, and I didn't see it coming. I thought Philippe could uh, submit him or knock him out, but uh, we'll see. Back on uh, back on here to do my UFC 92 review. Should be an awesome fucking card. Until then, you guys.
Stay metal.